Hello, welcome to Collie Biology. Today we're going to review some of the blood vessels that you're responsible for in Biology 112. We, it's important that we keep in mind left versus right. We always want to label our arteries and veins left versus right. It's also important that we keep in mind the word artery if it's an artery and we put the word vein if it's a vein. When we're in the neck and we're identifying arteries and veins, we have the right and the left carotid artery. Carotid arteries are red, they're running up to the head. The co corresponding with the carotid arteries are the jugular veins. So we have a right and a left jugular vein, those are blue, heading from the brain back down to the heart. Above the heart itself, we have the superior vena cava, nice and blue. We have the arch of the aorta, nice and red. And then this represents the pulmonary artery. If we move into the abdominal cavity, there is the diaphragm. So anything below the diaphragm is the abdominal aorta, nice red vessel. Corresponding with the abdominal aorta is the blue inferior vena cava, inferior vena cava. These structures represent the kidneys, so the vessels going to the kidney, that's the right renal artery, nice and red, the left renal artery, nice and red, and carrying blood back from the kidneys, the renal vein. So that's your left renal vein and your right renal vein. Those are going to plug into the inferior vena cava back up to the heart. This structure here represents the brown, represents the liver. So we have the hepatic artery going to the liver and the hepatic vein coming back from the liver, once again connecting to the inferior vena cava. That's the spleen. If we move to where the abdominal aorta splits, we're going to go to the right iliac artery, nice and red, corresponding left iliac artery. And that brings blood to the legs, carrying blood back from the legs. We have the right iliac vein and the left iliac vein, nice and blue, corresponding. Further down, associated with the femur bone, we have the femoral artery and ultimately the femoral vein. We also need to identify the hepatic portal vein. It's not visible on this diagram. However, we need to recognize that that particular vein, hepatic portal vein, connects the intestines to the liver. That's a digestive function. We also need to be aware that the mesenteric arteries, once again, not present on this diagram, but we need to know that the mesenteric arteries feed the small intestines.